Hi everyone. This time I will talk about literature review. What is a literature review? A literature review is an essay that surveys, summarizes, links together, and assesses research in a given field. It surveys the literature by reviewing a large body of work on a subject. It summarizes by noting the main conclusions and findings of the research. It links together works in the literature by showing how the information fits into the overall academic discussion and how the information relates to one another. It assesses the literature by noting areas of weakness, expansion, and contention. Next topic is sections of literature review. Here I'll talk about the essentials of literature review construction by mentioning the major sectional elements, their purpose, how they are constructed, and how they all fit together. All literature reviews have the following major sections. Introduction. That indicates the general state of the literature on a given topic. Methodology. An overview of how, where, and what subject terms used to conduct your search so it may be reproducible. Findings. A summary of the major findings in that field. Discussions. A general progression from wider studies to smaller, more specifically focused studies. And conclusion. For each major section that again notes the overall states of the research, albeit with a focus on the major synthesized conclusions, problems in the research, and even possible avenues of further research. Next topic is what should be avoided as literature reviews. In literature reviews, it's not appropriate to do the followings. For example, state your own opinions on the subject unless you have evidence to support such claims. State what you think nurses should do unless you have evidence to support such claims. Provide long descriptive accounts of your subject with no reference to research studies. And provide numerous definitions, signs, symptoms, treatment, and complications of a particular illness without focusing on research studies to provide evidence and the primary purpose of the literature review, and discuss research studies in isolation from each other. Then I'll talk about steps to conduct a literature search. Choose a topic. Define your research question. Your literature review should be guided by a central research question. Remember, it is not a collection of loosely related studies in a field, but instead represents backgrounds and research developments related to a specific research question, interpreted and analyzed by you in a synthesized way. 1. Make sure your research question is not too broad or not too narrow. Is it manageable? Second, begin with writing down terms that are related to your question. These will be useful for searches later. And three, if you have the opportunity, discuss your topic with your professor. Then decide on the scope of your review. How many studies do you need it to look at? How comprehensive should it be? How many years should it cover?
two points. One, this may depend on your assignment. Two, how many sources does the assignment require? Then select the database you will use to conduct your searches. Make a list of the databases you will search. Remember to include comprehensive databases such as WorldCat and Dissertation and Thesis if you need to. Two points and point one. Look at the library's research guides in your discipline to select discipline-specific database. Don't forget to look at books. And point two, make an appointment with or contact your subject librarian to make sure you are not missing major databases of original articles such as Medline, PubMed, Shinar, ProQuest Nursing and Allied Health, PsychoInfo, conduct your searches and find the literature. Keep track of your searches. Here, five points. One, review the abstracts of research studies carefully. This will save your time. Two, write down the searches you conduct in each database so that you may duplicate them if you need to later or avoid dead-end searches that you wouldn't forgotten you'd already tried. And three, use the bibliographies and references of research studies you find to locate others. And four, ask your professor or a scholar in the field if you are missing any key works in the field. And five, Use a citation manager, for example, Zotero or EdNote Web, to keep track of your research citations. And review the literature. I'll give you some questions to help you analyze the research. One, what was the research question of the study you are reviewing? What were the authors trying to discover? Two. Was the research funded by a source that could influence the findings? 3. What were the research methodologies? Analyze its literature review, the samples and variables used, the results, and the conclusions. Does the research seem to be complete? Could it have been conducted more soundly? What further questions does it raise? If there are conflicting studies, why do you think that is? And, and five, how the authors viewed in the field. Has this study been cited? If so, how has it been analyzed? And six, again, review the abstracts carefully. And the final seven, keep careful notes of your searches so others may track your thought processes during the research process.